Hi guys, I am Sickler Dar. This is my room. I'm 27 and I have KC. That means I have a coronavirus in my eyes. I have a best life. I like to cook, I like to bake. I help mom sometimes. I'm a dancer. Dancing helps my story come to life. I'm trying to be healthy. Leanne is my coach. I say please push me, challenge me, and I will take it. My top challenge is dessert. <laughs> I work at Shinobra Shop. I save all the money in a pig box for my honeymoon. I first met Larry in high school. We be a girlfriend and boyfriend through high school. Larry opposed to me on my birthday. He make me happy and he make me feel well. I have amazing friends and I have amazing neighbors. Those guys are not like friends for me to like family. Sabrina is like my big sister. I have a YouTube channel, make videos, it's hard for me, and I need someone to show me. I think Sabrina is the right person. My mom is easy to be with. She's an amazing person to teach me to be a confident, strong woman, to help her mom to love you and care about you. That will change your life. Sinclair is an amazing, human being who has changed not only my life, but so many other lives for the better. We have this, this picture right after she was born that we snapped and one nurse is holding her and she's looking at the other nurse and they're exchanging this glance where, you know, they knew, they knew that she had Down syndrome, but it hasn't colored who she is. It's just a piece of it. So Sinclair had always had 20-20 vision. And so the first time an aide from school said she'd been out at the college and had really had trouble seeing the screen. And that's when I realized, uh-oh, maybe something's going on here and called to make an appointment and they discovered that she did have keratoconus. So, I mean, the first thing I did was of course turn to the internet and a lot of my um, regular Down syndrome sites. And I also went to the National Keratoconus Foundation site to just get some basic information on what was this eye disease. And then of course I realized the next step was we needed to find a specialist. Sinclair came to me in my practice when she was 23 years old. She was referred by a local eye provider because he diagnosed her with keratoconus. And when she came to me, she had already pretty severe disease. Keratoconus is a disorder of the cornea, which is that front surface of the eye, the part of the eye that we put a contact lens on top of. And rather than the cornea being a perfectly spherical shape, kind of like a basketball, it instead becomes more steep and conically shaped, kind of like a football. We love Dr. Indrum. She was a bright light in a really dark moment. I think one of my biggest fears when I was just looking online, realizing that there were basically two options at first, um, which was wearing a hard contact lens, which I knew just wasn't really gonna be possible for Sinclair, and then a cornea transplant, and so very often, you know, the Down syndrome population does not, they don't qualify for transplants. So we were very grateful to find out that there was a far more straightforward um, treatment available through the eye link. When we spoke about how we may um, actually go forth with the cross-linking procedure for her, we spoke a bit about the different types of anesthetics that we have available, whether we would do it in the clinic under with eye drop and topical anesthesia or in the operating room with her completely asleep under general anesthesia so she wouldn't have to worry so much about moving or feeling anxious. Um, both Sinclair and her mom um, opted for that latter plan and we were able to make that happen for her. My first surgery, I feel nervous at first. And I come in, I feel nervous, I feel scared, I need mom there, she's there. She played my first song. 
that music must have been playing at a level nine. That whole surgery room was just blasting. And it just instantly, Sinclair's smiling, you know, and it, it just kind of calmed her down. So I remember when they <clears throat> wheeled her back into the recovery room and she was a little groggy coming out of the anesthesia, yeah. but it didn't, it didn't last long. She actually started talking and chattering talking. away. And, and I feel hungry. I was just saying, one of the first things she said, That's food. <laughs> can I have some lunch? Huh? And how surprised you were that nothing hurt. Yeah. I can't feel no pain, yeah. actually. Yeah. Weren't you excited after you got the eye link procedure mm -hmm. because your vision was suddenly... Doing better a little bit. You were a little surprised, actually. I remember when you were looking at your computer screen and you're like, I can see that better. Things yeah. were a little bit clearer for you. Yes. Yeah, that was a little bit of a surprise, huh? Yeah. As we saw her postoperatively, she did very well with really good improvement in her keratometry values and even an improvement in her astigmatism. We were able to give her her first pair of glasses and her vision improved quite significantly as did her quality of life. She's had no progression since she had her treatment now over four years ago. She's doing remarkably well and really happy. I know there have to be other parents out there like me who have no idea how common keratoconus is in people with Down syndrome. Patients who have Down syndrome have up to a 30% prevalence of carrying the diagnosis of keratoconus and should be getting routine eye exams yearly from the time that they're very young up until their adulthood. I think it feels good to see it, to see everything. I'm just gonna see my dogs and see if there's face, my personal life. I have a lot of things I wanna do. And my plans and my future, I want to get married because I follow her footsteps. Sight is everything. Without sight, life would be so much more challenging for most people with Down syndrome. And I think we have to preserve it at any cost. And now that we do have iLink available, if you do get that diagnosis, there's something you can do about it in a fairly quick manner. And so that's just, that's a gift.